Hello everyone, welcome to this new chapter. This is chapter number 13. In this chapter, we will learn how to make an email sending application. That's right. So you must be thinking that where exactly is going to be helpful, right? Uh, like we all have, uh, we can send email manually as well. Let me give you an example. Do you guys remember whenever you go to Amazon or Flipkart, right? Whenever you go to their portals, whenever you purchase any product, then what happens? Immediately you will get an automated email, right? Which says that this is your product id this is your invoice number and you know the estimated time or everything so do you guys think that you know there is some person sitting in the background and who keeps on sending mail to each and every customer no it is very difficult so what happens is that you know they have the automated email application right so they will be triggering the alerts based on their purchase history all right so in the in this application i will tell you the exactly same concept and how can we implement this concept in flat so we are going to use this flat for designing our application and also i'll tell you how in python you know we can have multiple uh, send mails even you know we won't be sending just a simple email we will be sending an html rich email right so let me just show it to you how exactly you know applic application looks so let me show you here if i go to my work and let me just launch the terminal so whatever the application that we are going to design i'm just giving you a glimpse of it so this application is executing let's see when it launches yeah so you can see here that uh, you know okay okay so actually what happens is like i have removed few files it seems yes so i have removed some file let me just uh, take this assets here so assets was missing so i'm going there and quickly pasting it perfect all right so let's launch it one more time and this time it should work as per the expectation let's see so this application is going to be very very helpful so you can see here that you know we have a nice application where it's a logo and then launch screen and then you can see whenever you click on launch screen this is the interface which is you know it is going to be and let me show you you know what kind of email uh, like it can send so for example in two like give the two email address so i'm giving my email address and subject let's say uh, welcome to the new coding course okay okay so uh, i it, it depends on to me whether i want to send a html message or a plain message suppose if you want to just send a plain message then you don't need to turn the switch on but i let's say i want to send an uh, html rich application right so i want to send this html message and attachment also i have added this functionality so let's say i want to uh, choose one pdf and let's say this jpg also and this jpg so these are the three files that i am choosing here so i have selected these files and currently you can see these are not uploaded so let's upload it and see upload the file has uploaded now suppose you know i want to send an html message right so i have the html content let me just quickly copy it here so if i open it in visual studio i think i can see the code that's right and i have copied the code and i'm going back to the application and there it is so i think everything is filled here everything now i'm just click on send button so send mail and i have clicked on it and guys make sure whenever you click on send button you should have an active internet connection and also if your files are of big size then you know you need to wait so upload speed should be good so you can see here we can select multiple files here like pdf jpg everything we can select and once the email is sent you know we'll get a pop-up message in the background here which says email sent successfully so let's wait yeah so you can see it email sent successfully and now i want to verify it whether uh, you know this is uh, actually it sent or not so i'm just opening a new window and i'm just typing here outlook dot office dot com well is there any application nope so i need to just do like this and go to my outlook all right let's see So the web link, okay, so you can see here guys, it's 5.56 and just few minutes back, just a minute back, I got the email and it, it is looking very nice, right? So even if you see here, all the attachments, whatever I have selected, it has, you know, attached to this email. Also, uh, this is my college logo, Bits logo, I have also attached that also it's working fine, I think, right? 
and one more thing is like if you guys see if i'm just collapsing the screen so you can see here how beautifully you know it has sent all the message so all this content we have just created using the html and css okay so you can see here the email is looking nice so this is what the application that i'll teach you that how to make it today i hope you're gonna love this application all right so let's close it and let's design this application so closing this and yeah so this is the folder that i have created already here so i'm just going to open it in visual studio let's open the project perfect okay guys you know uh first thing is like you know you need to have a key so how you can okay we'll discuss it uh, when the time comes so before that let me just tell you uh like you know how uh, exactly what things we want so i just want to discuss a few things here okay so email app sending application as you have already seen what we have done here so this is our like splash screen we are go going to call this as a splash screen so when the application launch before you know there is some screen which call it as a splash screen so in the splash screen what happens like here we need to have some logo right that logo dot png and then we need to have here a start button or we can say as a launch button so launch button we will have here so if somebody clicks on this launch button it will navigate it to the new page that we are going to call it as a home page okay so this is going to be my home page in the home page what we need we need one logo then we need some text fields like what is the to what is the subject right and whatever the message body that we want to keep and in the middle we'll just have the html switch whether you know if a person wants to enable the html switch or not and one thing to have the attachment here so here user can click and add the attachment and this is where user can upload it right and in the bottom we will have the icon button to send the mail so this icon button is used going to use to send emails that's right all right and in the bottom like you have seen right you know uh, that it says email email sent successfully right so what is that thing this thing is called a snack bar okay so we'll have this snack bar also in our application okay so this is the design blueprint what we are going to have so i think uh, we can start the project now so let's come here all right so before i start first of all let's you know build that part before we start with the designing let's complete the back end how the email is going to be sent so guys you don't have to install any new library okay uh, there is one library smtp lib library it's already there in python we are going to make use of it okay so first file let's call it as a mailer my mailer.py so uh, this file is going to contain the data where uh, to how logic for sending the emails okay so let's import the libraries importing libraries and first thing is import smtp lib first library then there are some few things we need from email dot mime dot multipart import space my multipart then from email you guys can you know start writing with me as well okay so mime dot text import mime text okay it is text -E text here import import mime text perfect then from email dot mime dot base import mime base from let's say that's it then from email import uh, encoders to encode our attachment files okay so let's create a function i'm going to call this function as send email and it is going to take some parameters here like we need before we call this function we need to provide the receiver email and the subject and whatever the message and message type so message type is basically plain or html if it is a html type then you know we need to uh, tell the function that you know it's a html message so please treat accordingly then we need to have all the attachment files if in case user is having any okay so this is the attachment files then we have here email configurations okay so sender email guys i am keeping it as my gmail id which is smartgurukool at gmail.com so that id i'm going to keep it here and after that thing we can have some email configurations 
so guys you know if you are uh, like for example like this is the gmail right so i'm using the gmail here if you have outlook so just you need to change here i'll tell you what you need to change so email server configurations configurations for, for here i'm showing for gmail here but i'll tell you for outlook as well okay so smtp underscore server is equals to smtp dot what is smtp guys smtp simple mail transfer protocol gmail.com and the port number is smtp underscore port is equals to 587 remember this port so mostly all the smtp ports uh, mostly all email providers are using 587 generally smtp underscore username username is same thing whatever we have kept here so that is so guys here you need to give that uh, username which exactly used to log into your gmail right so it's same right but in case like some people you know uh, they'll sign it for something else but their gmail is something else in that case you need to manage but in most of the cases these both emails are going to be the same so smtp password smtp password is equals to so guys here you need to uh, if you guys have your password to log in so you can just directly type the password but here is the important thing here so guys if you have the two factor authentication right like uh, suppose you have if you have enabled two factor authentication in your uh, gmail then in that case what you need to do is let me show you so let me do here go to account.google.com account account.google.com okay so let me show you so suppose if you have you know uh, if you go to your security and if you have two factor authentication like for me it is on right so what you need to do is you need to generate an app password there are many ways like you can have your uh, you know low secure apps enabled but i don't uh, think that's a good idea so instead keep because two factor authentication is actually a safe method to create your account secure right so i won't suggest you to turn it off it's very important you turn it on so once you turn it on uh, okay i need to give password here for login oh okay so i have signed in here so guys you know at the last you can see there's an app password right so just click on the app password and you you can just select anything like for example mail just select here mail or if you don't want to just keep here uh here certain and whatever the device so like uh, you can select here for example i'm using mac here so i'll select a mac and you can just click on generate okay so after you click on generate it will give you 16 characters uh you know uh, app password so just copy that app, app password and make sure you know that app password you keep it in a secure place because you won't be able to see it again so what i have done i have already created key.txt so i have stored those 16 uh, you know characters in that file and now i'm just going to read that file okay so it's very simple right just go, uh, go log into your account go to the two-step verification and after the two-step verification at the last you'll find that option to uh, you know to create an app password so this is where you can go and at the last there's an app password okay fine so let's get back to our project where we were yeah all right so i'll just open my file here and key dot key dot txt and guys make sure that you know uh we have uh you know this text conditions like uh, same same location where your mailer pie is there okay guys one more thing uh before i proceed like you know i have to address my audience as well uh so i have actually got lot of good comments from you guys because i know i'm coming from an after a long time and i'm very sorry for that so like you know i got lot of comments from my viewers my audience so anurag has said this is the best series i have ever followed thanks a lot for creating such a wonderful series sir create more videos on flat, flat project then there's a tanish who this is the best flat tutorial on the internet is this the last video no tanish this is not the last video our journey has not ended we are still on the track okay and i'm very sorry i'm coming after such a long time actually there are a lot of things going on like um, i for my phd i have to go to uh us so you know there are a lot of document work and all that i was doing so that's why you know the time i could not get the time to upload the video all right then dude you are a great love for this gonna watch the entire playlist thank you you are the best thank you watching from philippines thank you felbert 
All right. So these are the topics that we are going to cover: file picker and uploads, SMTP library, navigation and routing, gradients in Flat. Okay. So these are the major topics. But you know, like you know, I am not just sticking to these four topics. There are many more things that we are going to learn over here. Okay. So I have opened the file. I am just going to read it. So this is where the SMTP password I have. I am going to use. And after that, what we can do is, uh, yeah, I can just create simply create all the things. Okay. So creating, creating a mime text object to represent the email message. So let's call it up MSG then my multi part and after that who is going to be the from and all we need to set so in the from field we are going to just have our sender email that we have just defined on the top then message and after from we need to give two so two is the receiver right and then subject so let's say here subject so subject will be our subject so these all data we are collecting from the user right so you must be thinking who will provide this application so guys this application will be provided by flat front end okay so when we'll design the flat uh, you know interface so we will be just taking the th these values from the user itself okay all right so then after that message dot attach and then mime text here message whatever um okay did i misspell it oh, yeah message spelling is this one all right so message and then after that we need just need to convert the string of message type so basically this will uh, this this second parameter will tell whether it's a plain email or an html email okay so that's why we are having it so now let's work on the attachment okay so because we have having some functionality to attach the files so I am just keeping that so attaching a file and so for attachment underscore file underscore file in attachment files so because this attachment file is going to be guys the list okay so if there are multiple files or single file it's going to be list so one by one we need to encrypt the file and attach it to our uh, message okay so let's call it as attachment attachment is equals to let's open whatever the attachment file that we have received so guys this attachment file is nothing just the path of all those files right so whatever the path that we are going to have so that is what we need to do so we need to open this file in read binary mode rb means read binary mode now base is equals to my base and then it's an application after that here just you need to pass here so whatever the method that we are going to use uh, that you know we can have so i have seen that you know this octet stream is works best actually here oh actually i forgot to tell you one thing yeah so guys who are not using uh, gmail like you know what you can do is like smtp for outlook what you can do just uh, redirect to your outlook here where is the outlook yeah so just go to settings and after settings click on sync email and in the sync email uh, this is the smtp setting that we are going to so you can see port number is same just you need to change the office 360 smtp.office365.com whatever your you guys are using you can just uh, keep it like that okay and guys for uh, because there also you will face problem for two factor authentication so what you need to do again you need to create an app password so create an app password and then you need to put it inside a key.txt and you can just save it here okay all right so rest of the process is going to be same let me see the spelling application octet octet string perfect so base dot set uh set underscore payload and then here we need to give the attachment and we need to read it simple so attachment dot read all right and after that we need to encode uh, of course for good security here so encoders dot encode base 64 and just gave the base that we have defined on the before line then base dot add header last thing and here we need to give content disposition disposition and then here f and then whatever the attachment that we are giving so attachment hyphen 
file name and after the file name we need to use this thing and we need to pass this variable here okay so that uh, variable we can paste it over here and i think we are good to go let's attach it so msg dot attach base simple so this is guys for attachment functionality okay so that is how we are going to do and after that now we just need to connect to the smtp server which is the easiest thing to do connecting to smtp server and how we are going to do it. so guys whenever you know we are establishing connection i would highly recommend to use exception handling here try try accept block okay so server is uh, smtp lib dot smtp method and then smtp server we already have that and then port whatever the port that we have defined here port so this will use the credentials to log into the server and then we need to use the server dot start tls so guys you know you already know like what is the start tls right so if you have seen here in this uh, sync email thing so this is the encryption method that we use start tls even gmail, gmail also uses the same encryption start tls so does the outlook so we are just using the here let me give a, a comment also so using uh, tls for secure connection that's it okay after that uh, let's send the mail so send the email send the email server dot send mail sender email oh and guys i need to go at 7 30 i have to go so i need to finish the recording before that okay sender email receiver email and then where we need to send which is message dot as string method that's it uh so so guys whenever your message is sent let's quit the server okay and return email sent successfully perfect and if there is any error suppose for some reason we are not able to send the mail in that case we'll show the error whatever the error that we have here so return we can say like error sending email and what is the error just uh, mm, let's say uh, str of e so whatever the exception we have we'll just return it okay so guys this is the email functionality now i want to design my application okay design dot uh, let's say pi okay so this is where our uh, you know that thing will be there design dot pi means um, our flat code okay so let's say import flat as ft so this is where we are going to create a nickname for our file and also guys you know whatever the email module this is the module that we have created right so this module let's import it here so what is the name so how to import the module let me tell you this concept so from right so from this uh, python file we need to import this function so what will be the command here we'll say from my my mailer import import what what is the name of the function send email it should show also if i just type send see it is showing send email right so guys you know don't type just see whether it is showing or not because if it is not showing then maybe you are having some you know path issue and one more thing so from typing i need to import dict dictionary so this is actually uh, if you see now this is for like whenever you attach a file there will be some uh, progress ring so we are just keeping inside the dictionary so that's why i'm importing it here all right so definition main and page this is i think you guys know already right we have discussed so many times okay so page dot title is equals to send mail that is the name of the application page dot theme mode is going to be light theme and page dot theme is going to be ft dot theme sorry 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 t small ft dot theme dot theme and then color scheme s c h e m is scheme seed so guys you know what uh, this color scheme seed will do so actually by default it will be some other color so we'll change to blue so whatever the buttons and all we will be seeing now that will be a blue color okay so we are just changing the theme so flat uses some by default theme so i'm just changing it to uh, this color if you want some other color green or something you can use it as per your look and feel 
whatever you like okay so windows background color i need some you know so i have already have the hash code so it is zero zero i this is actually a bluish uh dark blue right so zero zero five nine five nine eight f so this is the hash code that i'm going to use and mail status so mail status is basically ft.x so you understand what is mail status so it will show whether the email send or not okay so we need to align it to center right perfect and after this snack bar page dot snack bar so i already told you that you know what is snack bar so whenever you click on uh, send mail so something will pop out from the bottom okay and it will show you the message so that is nothing but a snack bar right so if i just show you here i think i have already illustrated that thing if you go back to whiteboard so this is the snack bar which in the uh, bottom it will come up on the screen okay so ft dot snack bar and content is going to be mail status and let's say bg color so bg color is going to be same whatever we have given over here so we don't want to disturb the color tuning here so we'll make sure that you know we are following a good standard things okay so this is the time let's have the progress bar so pro what is the progress bar let me explain it first so let me show here so guys whenever uh, in the application if you see here that there is an attach button right so this attach button what it will do is whenever you will click on this attach button it will open a file picker right so in the file picker you will see all the locations like documents downloads so all those things will be there so whenever you select the file let's say you are selecting one two and three so these are the three files that you are selecting so these files uh, will show over here right so how we'll show these files it will show this circular avatar here like this and here there will be file name file name one file name two file name three so these rings these rings are known as progress rings okay so this is basically the progress rings so when we launch the application then you will get a better idea so for now just understand like you know whenever we are selecting the files so this file will show the name here and there, there this ring will show now you must be thinking why exactly we are using this ring right so this ring is nothing but but to show you the upload status how much percentage upload is completed so that is why we are having this ring okay it will show you the percentage of uploaded file like this file how much it is uploaded so that is why we are having the progress rings here okay coming back here so let's call it here prog underscore bars dot clear okay so okay before that let's define it first before clearing it so progress bars is going to be of dictionary type and first thing uh, is going to be the string part and next thing is going to be the progress ring progress ring that's it and let's have the dictionary thing and files is equals to ft dot ref so guys you know here i'm just creating a reference right so i have already cleared in the previous chapters if you didn't watch like you know how to have the reference clear the uh, go and watch the first three chapters or the second and third in the second third chapter i have already explained how to create reference and what does it mean and what are the advantages of having the reference so here I'm creating, I have created a reference uh, for the file. So this reference is nothing. It is just telling this files variable is going to be of ft dot column type. We don't sure about the content yet, but yeah, we know that it is going to be of the column type. So that is what the reference means here. Ne next thing is upload button, upload underscore button, upload button, which is going to be again, I'm creating a reference for this button and this is going to be of type ft dot elevated button that's it next thing is attachment files so attachment files are going to be of the list list type and it will contain the path of all those files which we are going to pass it over here so this is nothing but the attachment files so let me just copy the spelling here oh sorry attachment files okay fine okay let's define our file picker result so guys you know whenever you are having the file picker let me just explain you because i think uh, you may not be having that idea see some things we need to uh, you know know in the starting itself so this file picker class what it does is this suppose this is a file picker class okay so we, uh, whenever you are defining this class now it's better to you know define two function itself because when you're calling this class you need to pass those functions like you know to take any action so one is known as file picker result 
okay what will be the result of your uh, file picker so one thing is that and another thing is on upload progress on upload progress so these are the two uh, method or you can call it as a function that we need to define before we actually call this uh, class or we instantiate this class so let's just quickly define these two functions file picker result and on upload progress okay so file picker result will you know pre, uh, select all those files and on upload progress will show you know that okay now somebody is clicking on the upload button and now basically we have to upload the files which has been selected from the first method okay so if i'm going here so i'm defining a file picker and then result file picker result which is going to be which will catch the event and what event it is file picker result event okay then after that upload button dot current dot con current dot let's disable it current disabled is equals to true if so basically this is nothing uh, just we are using the you know ternary operator in python so if e dot files if let me type it in that way then you'll understand more so what i'm doing here is whether this button will be see uh, when suppose you know uh, what is the thing here let me show you suppose you know user has not selected any button this is the attachment button and this is the upload button okay so what i'm saying is see this is basically your attachment button and this is your upload button so think one thing logically if user has not selected any attachment file then what is the use of this upload button nothing right so we'll just keep it disabled initially this upload button will be disabled this button will be enabled only when user has attached some files to the mail okay so i'm going back here and here what i'll do is initially if e dot files e dot files is none okay if there is no files which is selected then in that case disabled should be true okay in that case that means in that case we are going to disable it otherwise we'll keep it as false false means uh you know it will be enabled that's it then prog bars dot clear so if there is initially some you know uh, files which are selected so we need to clear the uh you know space here we create some space here then files current controls dot clear so just clarifying all the things if e dot files is not none is not none then what we'll do is for f in e dot files and what we'll do is prog is equals to ft dot progress ring progress ring and initially the value will be zero then background color will be let's say white color so i'm saying here hash one two three four five six six times e and let me enable the word wrap because it becomes really difficult to type in contents exceed the screen okay so bg color is this thing and width i want to keep it 20 and height let's say 20 itself height also 20 so h e g i t height 20 all right then after that we will have here rock underscore bars and we'll keep f dot name so you remember like it's a dictionary type if you see in here we have already created a dictionary right this prog bars so that's why we are filling the data like this so the name will be so here basically you need to give the key and then we need to assign the value so this value will be this progress ring okay okay i think uh, this is done then files dot current controls append and then ft dot row ft dot row and then here we need to give all those things so one thing is progress ring whatever the ring that we have shown we'll show the ring over here and whatever the name is there that we will print it over here so ft dot text so this will show the circular rings and this will show whatever the file name that we have selected so ft.txt and inside the text will give the name of the file so what it will do is if you see here into the whiteboard this will uh, this thing first it will print the ring and then it will print the file name and both this is a dictionary thing right so same way we'll have the ring first and then we'll have the name first name second okay after this let's call update function page dot update perfect 
this function is also done now third, uh, in another function whatever the two function that we have decided one thing is file picker result so i think uh, this one is done now let's complete on upload progress so on upload progress then let's catch the event and event is going to be this time file picker upload event all right then prog bars e dot file name dot value is equals to e dot progress and then prog bars e dot file name dot update so let's just keep on updating all the rings and all okay so this is done guys so now i think we have completed the on uh, upload progress and file picker so i think we are good to you know uh, have the object of this class so i think now we can create an object of this class because we already have those two functions these are the prerequisites right so we have completed the prerequisites so let's instantiate that thing so i'm calling it as a file picker file underscore picker is equals to ft dot file picker and then on result is equals to so on result is what this function we need to give here on result is this and then on upload on in on upload we'll give this on upload progress so copy the on upload progress and just give it over here okay that's it now we'll have uh, the upload file function so let's make a function which will actually upload all these files okay so okay guys before you upload the files you know we need to have that uh, folder as well so let's create i'm calling that folder as attachments attachments okay and we'll configure everything as it's an attachment i'll con configure everything or or should i con do it now itself let me just do it so what we need to do is ft dot app uh, target is equals to main and then uh, assets dir is going to be this assets folder so assets folder so guys you know what is in this assets folder this is the logo that we are going to do the app logo okay so this is the logo that you can use so that is the assets dir and after that we'll have the upload dir so upload directory is attachments so attach m e n t s okay make sure you don't do any typo mistake here okay so okay so now uh, what we need to do is i think all things are done just we need to define the upload files uh, thing so upload underscore files and then e for catching the event and here uf us basically store all the files what we need here upload files and then if file picker so before actually i start the thing i need to check few things that file picker result is not none it should not be none right and file picker dot uh, result dot files should also not should all shouldn't be none so these are the two condition in that case what we'll do is we can just start looping here so for f in file picker file picker dot result dot files so we'll just loop it here and we'll have the attachment files dot append so this attachment files dot append if you remember we have created this function so it will store all the path of all those files because those path is required to call our mailer function right so if you see in the mailer function we have the attachment files here right so that is why we are we need to have this thing so attachment files dot append and inside the append what we need to do so as you know see we can just simply type f dot name right so th that is what uh, actually we need but uh, we need to let's have convert into a string just to make sure you know that everything is all right so we have converted into string and also guys you know see whenever you are using any by default function of flat so attachment will be already there but suppose this is uh, you know list we have created so we don't have the attachment thing right so because this is a core python function so i'm going to type the attachments path here so whatever the file names we are getting here before that we need to just give attachment slash so that it will become a proper path right because this is inside this folder and it and the file name it will become a proper path here okay then let's uh, print here attachment files and then uf dot append and here ft dot file picker upload file file picker upload file and then what we need to give is simply f dot name after that 
अपलोड यू आर एल अपलोड यू आर एल विल बी पेज डॉट गेट अपलोड यू आर एल दिस फंक्शन एंड देन वी नीड टू जस्ट गिव एफ डॉट नेम एंड वॉट एवर द टाइम आउट वैल्यू दैट यू वॉन्ट टू सेंड सो सिक्स हंड्रेड सो इज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो ना वॉट इफ यू नॉट श्योर वॉट पैरामीटर्स यू नीड टू गिव सो इन मैक जस्ट प्रेस द कमांड की एंड क्लिक ऑन दिस फंक्शन आई थिंक इन विंडोज यू कैन डू यूजिंग द कंट्रोल सो यू कैन सी हेयर दिस दिस विल ओपन द फ्लैट फाइल सो वॉट इट मीन्स हाउ मच एक्सपायर यू नो एक्सपायरेशन थिंग्स वॉट यू वॉन्ट हाउ मच आफ्टर हाउ मेनी टाइम यू वॉन्ट टू इट टू एक्सपायर एंड वॉट एवर द फाइल नेम राइट so that is these are the two function it needs one is a string another is a integer file so that is what uh, you know we have given the name and the integer value okay okay i think uh, this is done and after this we just need to close our uh, file picker thing so let's say file picker dot upload upload and here we'll give the uf okay so this will keep on uploading the things okay all right now uh, whatever the thing that we have added here file picker so you know let's uh, hide that thing into an overlay so in flat we have a thing so i'm just giving a comment here hiding the dialog in an overlay so how to hide it page dot overlay dot append and then file picker simple then okay now let's have our i think all the upload and all code is done now we just need to design our application which is the simplest thing so let's decide how we are going to design our home page so here how the app was first thing was here the app logo okay then there is a to field okay then there is a subject thing and then there is a html mode html mode which is you know here we need to have a animate switch kind of thing html mode then the attachment file and the upload button and then this is where the message we need to give right that is thing that we need to design so let's just quickly have all, everything here so yeah so let's have the logo logo is going to be ft dot image ft dot image so what is the time 633 i still have one hour of time let's complete it so src is equals to f and then let's give logo slash logo slash mail underscore logo dot png so if you see here mail underscore logo dot png that is the file that we have here okay i don't think that kind of slash will be used i think this will be used here load mail logo dot png and uh, then height is going to be 150 after this two two is again text field ft dot uh, text field and label is going to be two capital two and then border radius border radius is three zero thirty and border is none so this is i don't want you know that rectangular brackets so that's why i'm removing it so subject again is going to be text field because this is all the data that we are collecting from the user right so we are just kind of building a form here right email form so label is going to be subject then border radius 30 and border is equal to let me just copy it so border radius 30 and border is equals to none after that we have a message message will be again text field and in that text field let's just copy everything here we need to type write your message write your message and uh, border radius 30 and i think uh, we don't want that line also border none and but one thing is like here we need to enable the multi line multi line is going to be true so you know user can type press enter then you know it will keep on expanding itself okay and let's have our developer info so dev info is equals to ft dot container inside the container so it will show like who built the application it's very simple thing ft dot uh, text inside the text we give the value uh, like i'm calling it as a uh, developer and giving my name here Anurag, and let me give my instagram id itself amrarg all right and then wait wait uh, let's say bold wait is equals to bold bold and then we have color so 
color is going to be hash value which we have in the starting which is this thing the same color we'll using it every time 00598f okay so just you know you'll no notice you know why am i doing like this you'll understand this also okay so okay and after this we need to have a margin 20 padding 20 and background color pg color is equals to something white so let's call it f2 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 okay not pure white but little bit whitish and then border radius uh, 30 30 and done so i think uh, these all details are done now i think uh, we need to make a function send mail so when user will click uh, the send mail button so this function should trigger so i'm calling it as a send underscore mail so guys remember that you know this method is send mail and in my mailer it was send email okay so i'm just uh, differentiating the things here and also i'm letting you know okay so that you don't get confused so send mail so type of message initially let's call it you know we need to we are taking a message here plain so initially we'll just take as a plain value i mean we are going to send a plain message until and unless user enable the html mode okay so if message type oh if okay i think am i missing something here okay if message message underscore type underscore type dot value is equals to equals to true okay let me see whether the message type okay i think here i missed right this message type also i need to create here message underscore type so this will be basically uh, you know that html enabler thing so it's a switch so let's build that switch and label will be uh, here html mode and then value will be false value will be false and active color is going to be the same thing what we have here so let's paste it and print it. okay so i think uh, it is there now yeah the error is gone okay so if it is true so if user has enabled the you know that thing so in that case we'll just change the value of this thing to uh let's say html okay let's say mail status dot value is equals to send email so now we are going to call this function and why we are storing the value because if you remember here this function is basically returning a string okay so that's why i'm storing it inside the mail status variable and mail status is nothing but a snack bar okay which will come from here so let's give all the values let's apply so two dot value and after that uh, subject dot value then after that uh, message dot value after that message type the message type dot value we don't have to type because message type is oh okay 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 uh message dot value and instead of message type let's give our type of message which is already a string here so after the subject message type of message and then we can just call our attachment files so here i'll type my attachment files perfect now page dot snack bar dot open is equals to true and page dot update true page dot update okay all right so snack bar we have already defined on the top now i have created a function also this is also done now we can just have our home page content okay so home page content variable is nothing just we are aligning all the things here alignment we are going to set here so it's going to be the column c o l u m n column and then let's have the logo on the top after the logo we need to have two then subject and then ft dot uh, row inside the row we'll have a message type uh, or guys you know why we are having a row here because if you see here see this is the column right so i mean this uh, thing uh, itself is a uh, this thing but these all things has to be in one row this we need to wrap this all html mode attachment and upload file all these things we need to wrap it here inside one row so that is why i'm keeping here uh, inside uh, this row we'll have the message type 
and then after that ft dot elevated button inside the button we will have attachment attachment and after the attachment we can set the icon which is going to be ft dot icons dot attach file attach underscore file and when somebody clicks on it then what we need to do is on click lambda lambda and we are going to call the file picker so file picker dot pick files and allow multiple files is equal to true so user will be able to send multiple files in an email at once all right so i think uh, this button itself is done and after that i'm going to have a column ft dot column which will refer it to refer is equals to files not this files files and that's it and after this column we'll have again one more elevated button for the upload thing ft dot elevated button and inside the button this time we will have um upload files upload files and icon will be icon is going to be ft dot icons dot upload load and before this icon let's refer this to uh, upload button because we already have that uh, upload button on the top right yeah i think we already have that so upload button and then upload and then somebody clicks on it in that case we'll call our upload files function that we have defined and initially it will be disabled that we have already discussed okay all right so disabled is true and let's set the alignment here okay so let's say alignment is going to be center okay alignment is center now hmm i think am i doing some mistake here i think here we need to send the line because yeah this is for the row now so i think yeah so disabled is equals to true and after that one thing we need to leave and then this thing and okay all right after this alignment center we need to have comma and we need to give the message then container ft dot container inside the container will have a height of 100 for breathing space and f t dot icon button inside the button i want this this button is basically the send email button so icon button icon we will set it to let's say ft dot if we are coding from very long now send ft dot icons dot send and icon color icon color but guys remember one thing like if you're following me and watching the complete video it will be actually helpful so hash and then same color code we need to copy which is zero 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 five nine eight f i think i'm right yeah zero zero five ninety eight f and then icon size here let's give comma icon size is equals to 40 then after that tool tip tool tip will be send mail so what is tool tip guys let me explain you so tool tip is like suppose you know this is your uh, send button icon right this will be your send button icon so when somebody hovers the mouse then it will uh, you know give a hint that this is a tool tip so that is we call it as a tool tip so we'll say uh, send space mail okay so tooltip is this and on click is uh, send mail send mail mail okay this function and after this thing we can have ft dot um, container and again height of let's say 10 after that developer info dev info perfect and let's set the alignment to center alignment is center and horizontal alignment of course that is center so 
so i think uh, the alignment and all part is done now we need to define the navigation and all those things right so let's just quickly make it and then we will be done so definition route underscore change so route change is route here and then we will have page dot view so guys if you uh, have watched the video that uh, pizza delivery app then you know you will know that uh, uh, this concepts routing and all it was already clear okay so page dot views dot append and then like this and inside the append we'll have ft dot uh, view and inside the view initially this will be the uh, you know splash screen whatever we have in the view and after that okay i don't ha i haven't done any spelling mistake so far that's great and okay ft dot image so this is my first page right splash screen i'm designing now so in this splash screen we have the source and source will be f then what logo slash mail dot png not mail like uh, mail underscore logo right so here we can type mail underscore logo dot png and then height is going to be 100 perfect height is 100 and then ft dot elevated button which will say here launch launch and then and somebody clicks on it on click then we'll have the lambda function and we'll call page dot go and then slash home page so we are just redirecting it to home page when somebody uh, clicks on this thing okay all right i think uh, this is that for the design and then let's just have some few basic property like scroll will be always and uh, vertical alignment will be center horizontal alignment will be center and padding is going to be 50 and after that background color we already know that background color is 0 5 9 8 f 0 5 9 8 f okay one no no so double zero five nine eight so one two three four five six okay have i i think i have used somewhere else also yeah maybe that is correct okay zero zero five ninety eight f okay now after this thing i think that is done now let's just make like if page dot route is equals to equals to slash home page in that case we'll do page dot view dot append or not view views views dot append and what we need to append the view ft dot view and slash home page and then yeah now we can have the gradient container so we'll say ft dot uh, container content will be a home page content home page content and then uh, gradient is going to be ft dot linear gradient and i still have a time linear gradient inside the linear gradient we can have begin where to begin so ft dot alignment dot top center and end we need to do it ft dot alignment dot bottom center so from top center till bottom center we will have and whatever the colors we will define it will take so first color is going to be ft dot colors dot white and next one is going to be little bit sky sky blue so it is db e e f7 db e e f7 okay and after this we can give a border nice border radius uh, of 20 and for padding of 20 okay i think uh, it is done and after this scroll uh, will be always and horizontal alignment is center and then padding we don't need anything padding here already have the linear gradient and let's just call page dot update so page dot update okay so i need to come back here mm, yes so page dot update this function also done i think uh, just three more lines we need to add here three four more lines like uh, 
a view pop so function is view pop here so like you know if somebody wants to go back to the page so view in the web mode like people will be having that option right that back arrow button so they can go back so we need to consider that as well so top view is equals to page dot page dot views and then we need to do minus one page dot view minus one views minus one and then page dot go top view dot out so we are just taking the last value after this thing popping it and then we are just routing it to that page i think uh, that's it three last lines update dot on route change is equals to route change and then page dot on underscore view pop is equals to view pop after this page dot go go to page dot route perfect i think uh, we are done and why am i is it any mistake i have done no okay let's launch the application and guys also like you know i already have message.html over here like let me show you where is the message okay so i this is the file right uh, inside this send mail like i have the message.html so i'm just copying it and i'll just uh, paste it to our project also so i already have the message.html so we can use this html for sending the mail Okay, guys, so I think uh, things are ready here. Attachment file is ready. Everything is ready. So I'm curious to execute the application now. So I'm launching the application. Okay, so flat design dot py. Let's see how many errors we have. Okay, uh, invalid syntax. Which line? Line number sixty six. Let's go to the line number sixty six and fix it. Line number sixty six. Oh, why? Okay, I missed the comma here all right so let's close terminate and then open it one more time so when we work on the big uh, project like these things will be there let's see how much more errors we have okay so far i can see that application is actually uh, running nice without any issues so i'm clicking on launch oh ho 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 what is this I didn't uh, want this border, right? I'm not liking this border. Okay, so I think everything is fine except these borders. Let me see if I can see what went wrong. Border is equals to none I have given, right? Let me see what else we can give here. So let me see logo, 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 logo okay instead of this none what we can uh give is like this none this none we need to pass n o n e small n okay let's test it one more time the more error we'll get the more troubleshooting we'll do and the more perfection we will get all right launch oh nice right looking nice so let's say I want to send mail to kmrnrg.com. Subject is uh, welcome students to this new coding course. New coding course of flat. Okay. Now HTML mode is on. Attachment I'm going to select. Um, let's say chapter 13 this thing. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll select this time yeah this is the only file that i'm going to choose this time okay okay let me show you okay fine 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 okay i have already shown you right you know how you can select multiple files also so, okay let me select two files this thing and this thing logo and the chapter three so first of all we need to upload those files files are uploaded here and the html message i have already given so we'll take it from this message.html just copy it and uh, why apple music is coming here and paste everything Control C and V, okay. And let's click on message send and let's see. Okay, function object has no attribute encode. All right, where is the terminal? Let's see what is the issue. Okay, I think everything is fine here. Function has no attribute object 
at least there is some error here in my mailer.py encoders right okay hmm this encoder is this line correct here let's see encoders dot encode base base encode base 64 attachment is equals to open base is equals to uh mime base base uh, payload and then attachment dot read encoders encode base dot add header and message dot attach base hmm okay let's see okay, let me try to send one more time let's just read the error here one more time function object has no attribute encode hmm which function has no attribute so, okay okay let's just quickly just have a look at this file from the starting itself so email configuration sender email is fine smtp.gmail.com 587 port smart gurukul at gmail.com key is fine message is equals to multi-part perfect send okay what why it is send email it should be sender email right there is the mistake it should be sender email all right let's just uh, do it and run it one more time so i'm ready to fix all the errors how many errors we got and we are on time at 7 30 i need to join a meeting so i think it will be done by then kmrenrg.com subject is um, welcome student to this new amazing course of plat and let me copy this i can't type everything okay but attachment selecting this pdf and one jpg file and png file i have selected and upload those files and uh, message message is this it let's see i'm ready for fixing some more errors let's see wow there it is authentication failed support dot google dot com hmm. okay what do we want error okay so i think this is some mail issue maybe but my key.txt is fine i believe still why am i getting this error okay so let's see again let's go back here in my mailer and let's see some more things so open key.txt dot read smtb password and then to a receiver email then sender email receiver email subject message uh, mime text message uh, and str code message type and then attachment file rb mime base is application abbli application octet stream that is correct and payload read base is fine base dot header content disposition f attachment file name is equals to attachment file that is also fine message dot attach base now for uh, reading here i am giving smtp server now, there is attempts smtp server and port smtp server and port am i missing some line here also oh ho 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 after we didn't actually log into our server smtp dot login because that username and password that we have here that i didn't use that's why we got an error right so after the we have started the tls collection we have just defined our all the things and we have to define the server and we need to log in at the server as well right so that was one thing missing let's run it more so whenever you are also doing you need to also do this troubleshooting because without a troubleshooting you can't actually be a developer always have a open heart kmrnrg.com welcome students let 
and find and attachment this png and this choose upload message i will get it from here and i'll paste this and send mail let's see what error now we have so so uh, my files also will take time to upload okay so let's see okay email sent successfully where is my outlook let's wait so it is 701 so if email is successfully then i should be getting it okay that's right 701 and are those files there yes so this is the file that i have selected and that my college uh, logo also i have done here so i think the college college logo also came fine okay so even the message content let's just have a look so you can see here it is coming fantastic everything color and also if you click on this thing also it will take you to the website okay so if i just click here so see it take me to the website so everything i think is working fine right even the button and links everything is fine the logo is fine color is fine all right so this is the thing that i have done the only homework that i'm giving you guys is uh just build this application okay and have something more some different color themes and you know show me show me your work in the comment section i would uh, love to see because if you're not doing any practice or just you know using the code uh you know it's not helpful for you until and unless you write all the code on your own then only uh, you will be able to understand the project in a better way all right so let's see where are where will we so i think we have covered uh, this topic as well file picker smtp library navigation and routing gradients in flit and this brings us to the end here so see you in the next class and please publish your work in the comment section and thank you very much bye bye take care